Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever this video finds you. I am back from the Growing Expo. I got this wonderful hoodie. Uh, it says straight out the grooming salon. I got this from Goomber Girls. You can get it on their website. Um, but I just want to show you all the stuff that I got. I am going to have a montage of everything together with um, two of the classes that I did. I did three classes, but my phone died by the second one. Um, <clears throat> I got a lot of cool stuff. There was a lot of cool dogs there. I definitely need to work on my grooming um, and start doing some angles and just pretty much overall fixing my boo-boos. Um, I know I work with dogs that aren't not show dogs, but I really want to try and, and do a competition next year. So, okay. I got a lot of shit. <laughs> Charlie Hicks, right? And I finally go front and I'm like, his paperwork is sitting. I'm like, is this Charlie Hicks down here? And actually he's like, no, I accidentally checked him in. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> 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 I'm searching for this greater Swiss mountain dog. And there's a random juice dog he's that in the camp that doesn't have a tip. Oh, that's Cooperdale. Okay. That's Ansley's dog. I told her, I said I would remember her. Oh, okay. He didn't have a thing on it. He didn't have a tag. So he's like, quite chunky. I was like, surely that's not my greater Swiss Mountain Dog. I could have put that <laughs> in this bag. But I, so I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, no. That is um, Cooperdale. Oh, I forgot. I stole this banana. Well, technically I didn't really steal it. It was from breakfast from yesterday from the hotel. Um, but this whole big bag is literally full of goodies. Um, now, I, I do, in that little montage, I'll post pictures, the pictures that are just chilling down there. So this way I can show you. Um, I got these scissors and I'll show you these scissors. These are the, some cool beads that I got from um, Precision Sharpening and they just light up. I'm gonna add them to my little beads because I have little Christmas beads, and I have little Halloween beads, and now I have St. Patty beads. I just gotta figure out where the frick to put them. Hope I will put them right there. Okay. <clears throat> I think I got these scissors from a place called BP. Um, I did get one of these um, chart for the front for the girls. I'm find a paper on the place that I got. I did get a fluff out comb. Um, this, the fluff comb will basically help make the coat stand up higher. Um, and I got this comb, it's really, really nice. So I'm definitely gonna start using that. Uh, I'm trying to find the card, okay. So this is the card from where I got these scissors. And then these are the little scan cards uh, if you wanna scan those. Um, the first pair I got is a pair of curved, they're like thinner chunker type things. And I used these on my dogs yesterday, oh my one dog yesterday. They are absolutely amazing. They're eight inch. Just listen to that. They feel amazing. They're super duper light. I cannot wait to use them. Um, I'm definitely going to get rid of some of the ones I have over here to make room for my new ones. Um, and they come with a nice little thing of a boomer, which I don't need, so you know, let me get a trash can so I can trash those. I did get this, I, remember I was telling y'all about this groomer wall? I did get the groomer wall. Um, I don't know if you could see it, but I did get the groomer wall. <clears throat> and you'll, you will see me do that uh, in the videos to where the dogs won't have to lean so far away. That is a, I think it's a 48 inch and I paid $215 for it. Um, the wall is basically, it's kind of like a partition for your table so that the dogs don't go all the way over to East your Bumble and you're not like leaning over and pulling them back. Um, and it also kind of helps give them a little bit of security. You know, I got up and got the thing and I, look, I left the damn trash can over there. 
Anyway, um, these were by uh, my sister. One? I think this is the right one. Yeah, I got these from here. Um, sharpening Sharpies. And here's a QR code if you want to scan that. But this is where I got these from. Um, look at their little hound. It's so stinking cute. The guy has been in the business for a long time. He's a small business. So, um, super funny. Super funny. Um, <clears throat> but I got these nice, cute little curves right here. It comes with little uh, finger thingamabobbers. And these are already eight inch, I believe. No, these are a seven inch. These are seven inch curves. They're not like super curves, but they're they're nice little curves. Um, I can't wait to use those. I'm gonna pop out these little trash ones. And then when you get these little things, you just pop them right in to your shear. And it gives you a little bit more hold. Just listen to those. And he sharpens shears too. So, but I'm gonna keep this box because this is a really stinking cute box. It's gonna go down there. Okay. I did get some cute little, um, I don't know how I love my stickers, but I got this little sticker right there. I did, I went to get a schmuck, and the first day I could not find a schmuck. Um, and I've always wanted to try the ladybird stuff, but I'm like, they kind of run in um, European, Asian kind of style. So I was like, well, they don't have my fat fluffy size. Because normally I get a 3X, because I get the next size up, because when I wash it, it kind of dries and it shrinks. So I was like, okay, well they can't have that. So what I did get was, this little, um, I just put it on. Okay, so you guys can see it better. And it goes all the way around. And look at how long these straps are like super long. So if you're like, you're fluffier than me, these are gonna fit you. And I got plenty of room. But the awesome thing is, look. Where's it at? Hold on. They got pockets. There's another pocket. There is. It's got two pockets. And this is the material on the back. It's really good material. Um, and then I also, on the third day, I was like, oh, they restocked some of the stuff. I'm gonna take this shirt off. So I'm gonna have to put this schmuck on. I feel like I should have like sexy music here because I'm stripping for y'all. Oh, let me dance for y'all. Y'all like, please stop, that's just too much. <clears throat> okay. So I did find this um, schmuck there. Now this is a 6X. Yes, it's extra fat, large, and in charge. Uh, $52. That's the front. That is the back. Um, and then, look, it's got the little Ladybird logo on there. Sit it down. And it's got the same kind of inside as the other one, so you're not like sweating. This is a lot looser. I mean, I probably could have gotten the 5X and it would have been fine. But I was like, you know what? I don't like stuff really baggy on me. You know that coming a month, we all kind of bloat more. And I really like that it covers the zipper. You got pockets here. And the cool thing is, you know how we always get those hair down there or a turd? You can unzip this and bloop, get all the hair out of there. And if you have a, a, a loose turd down in there in your pocket, it's gone. So that was quite nice. So that's my new schnacky. My nice little jacket. I want to put my jacket in the other room. But this thing, y'all, from Grimmer Girls, I'm telling you, you need to get it. If you need to get a sweater or a hoodie or a jacket, this is so, so unbelievably soft. 
unbelievable result. Um, it, it's like a billion out of a ten. It's not great. Um, this was another free bag that I got third day. Uh, Groomer Halls was trying to get rid of a lot of their stuff. So I got a nice, a nice little tote from them. Now, I wasn't planning on getting a pair of clippers because I had brought my Bavaras with me because it really needs a new case. That and plus I pushed the button so hard. <laughs> it's got a hole in it. Um, but I did order a housing finally from somebody. Um, now these were supposed to be a knockoff of the Arteros. Uh, I paid sixty dollars for these, and I was really mad because the lady that said that the knockoffs that she had in her shop were Kodos, um, and I eventually I did find them from the same place I got um, the shears from. Um, the first, the second shear, which was this. Um, but in the box, you get. Your clipper, your charger, the charger goes in there, and then when you turn this on, you get to like a little LED, and you can change the speed. Um, this is this is your 40, and then it goes all the way down to a 10. And then that's some clip-on combs. I'm just gonna leave it all out the box because I don't need it. Can you push that trash can to me? I got up earlier and I was like, yeah, I'm going to push this trash can to me. And I was like, yeah, I didn't do that. Let's see if this thing works. Right? Oh, yeah, that's a sample. Right now she's using the um, sample from Wet Pet. Yeah, I know that sample is um, It's in there somewhere. But it's a wet pet towel that absorbs all of the water from the dog, so it dries them a lot quicker, and you can just wring it out and re-dry them. Um, they say that a lot of people buy them, and then some of them will just toss it out. Um, but these were the condos that I found. These ones, um, I got some from here, and they were fifty. They were fifty dollars. They were ten dollars cheaper. Uh, but these are supposed to be the, the knockoffs of the, the that brand. What, what did I say it was? The Arteros? Sounds right. <clears throat> and you push that button there. And if you want to move this, you have to push this button here to move it up and down. But your finger has to stay on that button. Um, and it comes with a nice little charger. Same type of thing in your cones. Um, now I did buy a extra comb for that, um, an extra blade for that. These were some of the free stuff that I got. Some little bows. We use that later. I got another Chris Christensen brush. I was going to get the case, but I was like, yeah, I'm probably never going to use a case, but I probably should have got the case. Um, but I'm probably going to bring the backup ones at home. But this wet pad, this is the um, product that she's using on that, that dog over there. This one. Uh, this was a sample. So I'm going to have that over there. Oh, uh, this seems to work better than a towel. It does. Mm -hmm. So, Jody, probably not enough that I would buy yeah. it. Buy it. Like, so it's kind of like a sham wow. Yeah. Thing. Um, I got this for the faces. Helps clean off the faces. This is an all natural um, product. And then they gave me a sample. This is a fifty to one. So this will last us a long time. It smells really nice. I got another one of these from Pet Edge. I mainly wanted it for the top um, because I have the bottom that is uh, in rainbow day color. And I low-key really, really miss it because for some reason the top here 
it just kind of goes, it doesn't spritz. Um, and this is kind of like a mist, so when you spray it, it shoots out continuously. This is really, really good. Um, so if you don't have a bottle like this, get one. Um, I got a little diamond head. And then I eventually ended up getting um, the actual diamond diamond heads. Um, I got some grubby dog. Don't tell Whiffy since I cheated on them. But I love the way some grubby dog smells. It smells so good. Um, I got some natural uh, shining detangler. These were free samples that I got from uh, the groomers hall. These are by Artero. And I'm actually quite excited because I was like, I'm actually gonna probably buy these. These are for the ears. You just stick your finger in there and clean out the ears. And they have it in for the teeth. And they also have it for the eyes. And I used this eye one yesterday on my, my Winston and it worked amazing. Um, this was another sample I got. Uh, it was a whitening shampoo. I've used this before. This is a really, really good shampoo. This is just a sample of this bottle. And I was like, you know what? I needed a spray, so I bought the spray. And then he bought, he gave me the volume shampoo that I'm gonna use on my Winston. So I'm just gonna keep that over here. Uh, and then I got from Davis. I got some of the hair dye spray. I got five of them. Because I also got the um, airbrush with the colors in but I got blue purple green red and more like a pink color now these you just spray on the coat and that's it and uh, you let it sit for like 15 20 minutes hold on I gotta pause this but uh, then you would rinse it out and those would stay a little bit longer okay that was for a dog that I saw coming that was Pretty mad at him. He, he needed to be gone and they wanted to know if I could do him. And I was like, yes, 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 yes. They're like, will you do him for free? Yes, he needs to be groomed. Yes. I don't care if I don't get paid for it. He needs to be groomed. So yeah, that's, they're going to call me back to find out if the owner's okay with that. But he needs to be groomed. Anyway, back to the home. Um, I did get another 30 blade because I do need another 30 blade because the one that I did get off of Tinu, um, it's great, it's great. The one I got off of Tinu. It's actually wonderful. I'm going to order some more. Um, but I really needed another third blade to put underneath my blades. Um, my guard cones, not my blades. I got some wonderful fluff out. I'm running out of space to put shit, guys. And then I had to get some um, guard cones because the two guard cones that I have, the sides were kind of broke. So I had to get... The replacements for the guard cones. This is the half inch, and then this is the three eighths. This is the comb that I love to use. I use these two combs a lot, especially this one. Yeah. Sweet, sweet, Talbert. Thank you so much. He didn't want to go in, but he's in. So if you have this book, this is a great book. Um, I got this in a little one. I have the bigger one somewhere. But if you don't have this book and you want to get this book, they now have it through Paragon on a freaking app. And the cool thing about the app is, yeah, click one of those things and pull it up. Um, this would be, uh, I think these are for grads, but you can share your story. But if you click this one, it'll bring it all the way up into your Play Store or Apple Store. Um, it'll pull it up in the app, and basically what it does is it shows you all the grooms that are in this book. It shows you all the stuff. But the cool thing about it is it gives you the option to set lines. Uh, so like if you want to do it higher to kind of, you know, if you're going over it with a client, you can do different lines and it's got like the little note thing to where you can write notes so like if you're teaching other people um, or you're trying to show other people that are in your salon different things you can send it to them 
And the other cool thing about this Paragon thing is, um, I think it is a monthly a subscription or you can buy the year subscription. So, it, so it is a subscription. Um, but when I saw this, I was like, oh my God, that's a great book. Shut up. Shut your face. Um, it's great. But um, they're going to be eventually adding in demos in there on how to do faces and how to do parts on the body. Um, for either new groomers or old groomers. Which I think is really, 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 really cool. Um, so, if you're experienced or not, you don't have that book. Get your little phone, get the little QR code, or just look up um, Paragon um, Grooming Guides, and that should pull it up. I was so excited when I came by this. I was really sad that I didn't, that I didn't win. Um, a little surprise, but whatever. Um, this was the other sticker that I got. It's of a corgi. And then I got this one of this little Frenchie. And I'm going to put them up on my little board over here. <coughs> Wait, there's more guys. I'm not done yet. Okay, so I did get um, the other part to the clippers. And the cool thing is this will fit this clipper and that other clipper. So that was kind of nice. I got another pair of nail clippers and as I got these, I was like, I don't really like the design of them. I don't know if I'm gonna use them, but I probably will because I needed another pair. So I got another pair of those. I'm actually gonna shove those right in my, in my handy dandy pocket. I got some cool groomer called sunglasses. I wear my sunglasses at night. Why does he wear sunglasses? It's stupid. Never understood this. Anyway. Uh, well, hold on. Um, I got some free grips that you put on your clippers. I got some elbow um, pad and nose cream. I've been getting a lot of people asking about that. I got this. This was from, I think, uh, Pet Store Direct. Now, this is pretty much a their idea of a groomer's helper. This piece here, and I'm going to put it on my table. This piece here, where's the arm? So this piece here, we're gonna move all this. I'm gonna move it. You get this, right? And you wrap this around into your table. Uh, uh, uh. Is that my pit stop? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna do this the other way. Okay, so it goes the other way. Does it go the other way? I don't know, hold on. I feel really stupid right now. Hold on, give me a second. Because it's got the felt here and it's got that there. So hold on a second. Let me look at the directions because mom is a little, a little slow. Okay. But these are the directions on here for this. Okay. Uh, dog can slide up and down the grooming table with no extra adjustments. Okay, so you can put this at the top too if you needed to. do this because I'm kind of slow. I'm really just trying to figure out how they did this because this part has to go on this. So clearly, I'm doing something not correct. So I'm gonna have to YouTube how to do that. But it does come with one of these, so that you can put this on this, and then you can connect this to any of the loops. So basically the dog can't, can't move. So I'm gonna have to YouTube how to put that on, because apparently I'm too stupid to uh, 
figure that out. That unless I got a one that's not supposed to be like that. Um, yeah, I'm just unless I'm not supposed to put it for here. I don't know. I just have to figure it out. I'm just I thought that you would have to put it through that clip so it would say. So it would say. That's gonna be taken somewhere. These were the other pair of scissors that I got. I got these from shit, what store is that? This was from Pedigree. Uh, Danielle got the same ones. Yeah, this has pedigree on them. And they can't really see. These are um, stainless steel 440C, and these are, I believe, oh, look at that, they even put the little number on there. These are seven inches, and these are a pair of chunkers. Not those. These were my super pairs that I got from that bold place, uh, and I'm really, really excited to use these. These feel super duper light. These are eight inches. Um, these are made out of the same ones out of the last one, Japanese uh, 440C. I'm really excited to use those as well. Then I got some, I got like four of these. Yeah, I saw him and I was like, yeah, I need to grip him. It, it's real nasty. It's horrible. I don't understand why they like don't come in. Yeah, you just say that you pay the, the. There's that. There's that. But I like these ones because these have the little loopy, the little hole thing. So these are kind of like the Jelly Belly ones. Um, so this will clip really nice on with this. And then I got it in the uh, pink, blue, and then I also got it in the green. My bag's almost empty now. Some more little free finger stuff. I got the smaller happy hoodie because I don't know what happened to the small one that I had here. It kind of just got feet and walked off. So I got another small one. Um, and this will be good for the cats and the small dogs that don't like it. The blow dry on them. And then I'm done. Uh, I got another drive for my KMs. And then these are the diamond heads. The jumbo diamond heads. And that's, that's all I got, guys. And that was the end of my groom. My groomed experience. Um, I'm going to be posting the video after this of everything that we did pictures of the dogs, some of the classes, the food we ate. The first night we went to uh, Waffle House because we were three women and we just couldn't figure out where the fuck we were going to eat. So we are just like, where you guys want to go? I don't know. Where you want to go? I don't know. It went on for about 20 minutes. So what we did was we came up with two places and then we wrote the names down and then we are just like, okay, whichever one you pick, that's where we're going. So we went to Waffle House and I'm like, well, we didn't go to the news, so we'll go to the news next. So we had a blast. We had fun times. It was great. I can't wait to go until next year. Um, if you've never been to a groom show, you need to go, especially if you're in that kind of burnout kind of, you need to relive your grooming, go to one. Oh my God, this is the bag that you get when you, when you go in. But that's it, y'all. That's, that's everything that I got. Um... They, uh, oh, if you were a groomer, when we were there, we ended, ended up making a hundred bucks. Yeah, we got paid. Uh, it's by City Research. If you scan that, you might be able to sign up. Uh, I think when you first sign up for it, you automatically get $50 just for signing up. Um, this was the back. So if you want to pause that. Uh, but they said that they will send you um, letters in the mail or in your email. Um, so that you can do surveys and you'll get paid for them. 
There was this one really cool. Um, there was this one place that did have a dryer that I wanted to get. It was like a cone, but the air, it looked kind of like a shower head, but it dries the dog really quickly. And I think it was like $150. Okay, yeah, it was, it was these people. It was by Fred Loopsy. Um, that's the QR code. Check this place out. Um, I'm definitely going to be ordering one of those dryer hoses to attach, which is really, really nice. So, yeah, that's my haul, y'all. That's it. I got a lot of shit. I got more shit than I should have got. But you know what? I don't spend money on myself that often. I don't go out that often. I was like, you know what? I need it, and I wanted it. So, I got it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'm going to add the video of everything we did after this, and uh, I'll see you in the next one, y'all. Bye.